that's very copywritten, Charlie Brown. Maybe I shouldn't sing that. Welcome, guys. Howdy, folks. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, to Sky Factory. And this is episode, what, 27 now? Oh, my good golly. It's getting ridiculous at this point. And it is currently... I don't even know what day of the month it is. I'm not even paying attention. But welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome it's back to the Sky Factory. We are going to start work on something very big today. We are going to be creating a singularity. And if you want to know more about singularities, go check out that awesome space movie, Interstellar, that was not ridiculously boring. And I didn't fall asleep part of the way through. It, it's great. You learn about time and relativity and... Ugh, I get tired just thinking about it. But uh, today we're going to be working on a singularity. Which will basically, it's something from Applied Energistics, it'll allow us to have one computer, but access it in two different dimensions. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's pretty cool. I don't know what that sound effect was. Uh, I decided to start at night because it was nice and snowy, and now I feel like the snow is just a little bit too much. But, we are going to power through anyway, so if we type in Applied Energistics, we can see the first thing that we're going to need to build is an Emmy condenser. And I'm going to do that this episode... Depending on the length of the episode, we might just cut it here. I don't want to have to deal with any more half episodes if I don't need to. But so we got a condenser here. It's very basic. It's glass. It's iron. It's a fluix dust. And this is what we're going to need to build to get our singularities. I'll explain it all as we go. For those of you who don't know exactly what we're doing, it should make sense by the end of it, though. So let's hop over here and actually build this bad... Oh, look at that. Clear that out. So uh, I guess we can just type in condenser and we'll get it. And we should already have everything for it, so we're going to take that and we're going to place it down. Might as well place it right here. It does not require power, thank goodness. And what we're going to do is we're going to pipe items into here. It's going to compress those items down and then spit out a couple of singularities once this bar is full, which is one of the reasons we have been piping in an excess, and I forgot to turn it back on, an incredible excess amount of cobblestone. As seen here, 173,000 cobblestone, which is crazy to think about. That is a ton of cobblestone. It's about to go up even higher. Um, we also have other items we can put in there. We have a ton of logs that we can put in there if we need to, but I think this ought to do fine. So something else we're going to need is an output. Um, our, let's see, what is it called? Export bus. I tried to put an output bus, then I realized that it's not correct. So an basic export bus is like so, and we should not have everything that we need because we need an ME interface, which I never have all of the ingredients for. But we're, gee golly, ME interface. Yep, that's what I thought. We're going to be needing a conversion matrix as as per usual. Do I have everything for a conversion matrix, though? Maybe? No. No, of course I wouldn't. Why would I? Why would I have any of these things prepared beforehand when it's so much more fun? To, let's make a few extras of these real quick. So we'll have some. And I'm going to put them in the hopper instead of directly into the furnace for no particular reason that I can think of. Let's see, conversion matrix though. Got that now. And um, export. There's our export bus. And we're going to use this to export the cobblestone out of the system into the um, condenser. So there we go. And then do we have any excess ME cables that we aren't using? What are they even called? ME cables. Nope, we just got this one. So we need to build some more ME cables. And, of course, that means we need more... Wow, guys, this is this is a crazy amount of things that I did not have prepared that I thought that I did. But you know what? It's okay. Because Christmas time is here. Okay. Got our cables. Now, I don't believe it matters what side you plug this export bus into. But for the sake of this video, we'll plug it in right here on the side. And then... Oh, well, I did not anticipate that, but that's completely okay. Now, you shouldn't need to power this thing. Oh, I forgot. We're going to need one more item in there. And I completely forgot what it is called, but if we just look up Applied Energistics, we should see it. Ah, that's what we need, a storage cell. So a basic storage cell. Hey, we already made a basic processor. Storage cell, nice and quick. Place that in there. There we go. And ooh, let's see, we do not want to destroy items. We want to condense into matter balls. No, we want to condense into singularities. That's the one we want. And it's going to call... Oh, geez, we're going to need a lot of items. Okay, that's fine. That is completely okay, because we have quite a few items. Let's go ahead and get a piece of cobblestone out. And we're going to tell the machine to export by right-clicking the export bus, put some cobblestone in there. It'll now begin the process of exporting cobblestone out of the system, slowly. Can I set it to stacks, or does it not matter? Well, and uh, putting them in here, and as you see, that is going to take a very long time. We actually don't have enough cobblestone yet, uh, unfortunately. 
We could, however, substitute some other items in there if we want to speed the process up some. Um, let's build a better export bus. I feel like if we had one that could export... Let's break this temporarily. And we'll upgrade it to a... I think it's a precision export bus. Per... Yeah, that's what we're going to need. So we're going to get that in there. Add this. Boom. I'm glad I made a lot of these. We'll add this back in there. And we want it to export stacks there we go so that'll speed that up quite a bit yeah there we go going by full stacks and as you can see it's going to take a while it's going to take a lot of cobblestone and i think we're going to help it out a bit by grabbing some gravel and some logs because we have a ton of logs and i wonder if i can just toss these in there how does that can i not do that no no you can't that does not work okay well that was worth a try um i'll just have to oh but you know what i can do is i can set up Boom, boom. Oh, and sand we have a lot of too. I don't want to use all the sand though is the problem. Let's add these to this matrix though. So it'll start exporting them as well. Actually, now that I think about it, it, it might be better if we just wait till we're out of cobblestone to do that because I don't want it to cycle through and yeah, that wouldn't be good. Uh, accumulated energy is, is not going up anymore. wonder what happened. We'll assume everything is okay. Hmm, is the cobblestone still going down? Cobblestone is still going down, so maybe it just got frozen or something. Hopefully, we'll find out. Alright, and reading from the wiki, To generate matter ball or singularity, you must put a cell item in the middle slot. You must have a storage cluster to make a singularity, as no other cells are large enough to store the required energy. This whole time... I could have just been, uh, well, now we know, don't we? So let's build a storage cluster and let's see. Well, first off, let's, uh, look, there's a little storage cell. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. It wasn't the mod's fault. It was ours all along. Mostly mine. I'm going to blame it on all of you, though. So let's get all of our items back out of here. Got to get that. Got to get our, got to get that. Okay, um, staff of traveling. And we've got to get our, uh, flux capacitor. There we go. And so a storage cluster is going to sound like one of those things. Yeah. Oh, boy. So we're going to need three of these bad boys, which is going to be nine of these storage segments. Which is going to be, what, nine times three is 1827 storage cells? Yeah, 27 storage cells. We already have one, though. Uh, 27 storage cells. Th th um, uh, so we're going to need 27 of these. Good grief. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh, no. We've run out of gold. Oh, jeez. Oh, good gosh. Okay. Not a biggie. Not a biggie. I think I need 27 of these. Not entirely sure. Might as well go ahead and make 30 since I did make some extra basic processors as well because I, I think I miscounted how many I'll need. So, you know, whatever. But now we get to make these, the storage, these things. Yeah, see, I for, didn't count those in, I don't think. Um, that's not for you. Bup, up, bup, up, up. Create as many storage segments as we can. We ran out of, um... Basic. There we go. Yeah, we're getting more. Yay, so we got the storage segments. We have one of these left over. Should I do anything with it? A basic storage cell? Uh, nah. We, we're, we won't do anything with it. We'll just throw it back in there. Alright, what's next up on the storage cell list? Up from that, we have the storage block. Which is going to require... Right. So a few of these. We'll go ahead and make one, two, three, four, five, six of them. How many diamonds do we have? I hope we've increased our diamond. Oh, that... Was all of them? Okay, we have one left. We'll hold on to it. We can turn this diamond dust into a diamond, though. And there we go. Uh, oof. I wish I could create more, but I need to build up the cobblestone again because we we dumped it all. Okay. So this one is empty. We'll put... Oh, no. Put those in there. Let that start working. And then we will wait. And then what goes into this one? More of these. Okay, well, I made six of them, didn't I? Uh, I think we'll be fine. Uh, we should have plenty... And what else went into that, actually? Now that I'm looking at it, three of these dust glows. Oh, I think we're set to go, guys. This is not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, 
Yeah. Get the recipe up for that. Yep. Yeah, buddy. How do I end up with one left over every time? Three of those put back in here would give me one storage cluster. Good gosh, that thing is huge. Unbelievably massive. And that's as high as it goes, right? That's the one we need. I'm looking over at the wiki storage cluster. Yep, that's what we need to make a singularity. Put that inside of here. Wah, wah. Awesome. Exports. Not ports. Exports. We're going to need both of those. And place here. We'll place one up here. And we will set them to cobble and oak wood. How are we doing on... Yeah, we have plenty of... Okay. So we'll set the wood to this one. And we will set the cobblestone. I thought I grabbed some cobblestone. But it was just my imagination. Move stacks of items. Same for you. Hot diggity. So we're getting a ton of items being placed in there. And I think we're going to call it in this episode. We'll come back when this is done and we have a couple of singularities. So let me just basically explain what's going to happen. Because I'm going to walk away, make myself a pizza or a sandwich. I don't have any bread. I can't make a sandwich. I want lunch though. I'm going to come back and hopefully this will have 256,000 items pumped into it. And we'll have a couple of singularities waiting here. And it does make them in pairs. It will create two singularities for us. Or I guess they're singularities. So are they just part of the same? That's complicated stuff. I'm also going to create a ton of planks. Because we can create a ton of planks from oak logs. And therefore get like four times as amount of... Four times the amount of stuff out of planks as we would logs. And uh, yeah. Look at it. It sucks it right up. Good grief. Okay. Just create a bunch. Create a... We got... Ooh, see what I mean? It just sucks it right up. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Uh, and to answer a question that someone asked a few videos ago, can you combine multiple time torches to make things even faster? The answer is yes, as it happens. 